All right, welcome back to episode two. Since we left off, we have been running the hack script that we built in episode one for about two hours. Uh, we've created brute SSH just by clicking on create program and created it. And we're working on FTP crack now. We don't really need that to finish to, to talk about the main point of this video though. And that main point is that this has been running for a couple of hours and we've only amassed 31 thousand dollars now it's slow because it's super early game but it's a little bit too slow and so i wanted to give you a little bit of insider baseball about how you can speed that up in the super early game so if you come down to the options tab there's this button called soft reset which resets everything as if you had just purchased an augmentation i'm going to connect to food and stuff and run analyze Food and Stuff's got two and a half million dollars on it. I'm gonna check Joe's guns. Another two and a half million dollars on it. Check Sigma. Another two and a half million. There's probably ten million dollars across all the servers we have ready, easy access to. And what we really need to do to accelerate our progress is upgrade our RAM. But the problem is, if we were to just take all their money, it would be really, really hard to grow them back up to the level that we could actually start making money on them again. So I'm going to build a special script, and I'm just going to copy our, our existing script over to max cache. And what this is going to do is just completely empty servers which would be a terrible idea except for the soft reset functionality we can just reboot them back up and they'll all have two and a half million dollars on them again so this is the plan um first well we're not going to need to grow them anymore so let's take out the grow section yeah um so what this is going to do is weaken targets if they have security, which is important because if they have high security, our hacks won't go through. So we're still going to weaken them and we're still going to hack them, but we're not going to grow them anymore. And this is almost ready to go as is. Uh, there's just one more change we need to make, which is we don't want to attempt to hack servers that have no money. We want to just move on to the next server. So probably right here would be a good place to put that. I'll just add another and uh, boolean and say ns.getServer max money of target is greater than yeah, we could do zero here but just to save a little bit of time I'm going to put like a thousand because we don't want to waste time hacking a server if it's got like four hundred dollars on it. In fact, I'm probably going to do like 5,000 just in case it's in that kind of zone where it's not really worth grabbing the extra couple hundred bucks. We don't want to spend what could be four or five minutes attacking it. So what this is going to do is going to loop, uh, loop through all the servers. If we have root access on the server and the target we have root access on and the target has money on it, we are going to attack the target. Problem is, right now our target is hard coded to be food and stuff. So we're going to have to change this. Um, probably the easiest thing to do is just to comment this out and say let target equal dp list ns. This will do the same thing that let servers equals does, returns an array of all the servers. But we're going to filter both of these functions at this point. And the way you apply a filter to them, because we don't want every server, um, we'll probably leave servers as it is, but target we're going to filter to uh, something. Um, so when you put the period and filter, it applies a filter to the list. And if the statement that I'm about to type, kind of after this arrow, resolves to true, that server will be included in the array. So if we were to do like get server security level of s is less than five this would 
only return servers where the server security level was less than five. Target would be a shorter version of the entire servers list because it would only have those servers in it. What we really actually care about is get server max money. So say we were to do that. Target becomes an array of servers where they have some money on them. Down here, we can say for, let's target of targets. I'll just name this targets because it's a little clear. And then we can stick all this stuff. Yep. Inside that second loop. So if you think about it, what this is going to do is it's going to go through a server of servers. So it'll start with like home, and I'll go to Joe's Guns, and I'll go food and stuff, and so on. That's your server. But then it'll do a second loop. And so while server is home, it'll do target Joe's Guns. So it'll check all these different servers to see if they have money on them. And then it'll attack them, just in order. And as soon as they no longer have money on them, it'll stop attacking them. This if statement will fail, and it'll just skip it. Right? Ah, so what are we missing here? I don't know, let's run it. It looks like it'll probably just work. First, I'm going to kill all. Now I'll let that finish. We're just going to run max cache. See what happens. Target is not defined. Well, target's defined right there. Ah. So your variable inside this kind of sub loop is that right there. See if anything's happening. Well, it's hacking noodles. Noodles has money. It's also trying to weaken noodles, which is fine. See if it keeps hacking noodles. We'll uh, go in and connect. Make sure noodle still has money. Yeah, noodle still has forty thousand. And ought to be out of money here real shortly. Oh, it had to transition to weakening it because its security level was higher. make this a little bit more efficient. Instead of saying weaken if the security level is greater than minimum, we can like give it a buffer. But we'll try to weaken down to zero. There we go. And Noodles has no money on it anymore. So after that finishes, it should stop hacking noodles. But it hasn't. Why hasn't it stopped hacking noodles? It's still going after me, even though it's got no money on it. And the answer is very simple. Because we're defining the targets array way up here, it's never actually ch redefining it. But if we put it down here inside the while loop, and every time it comes back around, it'll reconsider what the available targets are again. So servers doesn't have to change. That's just a list of every server. Targets will have to change, so it needs to be within the while loop. Because if you think about it, this part of the code right here 
is the only thing that runs consistently. This stuff up here only runs once. And now we should see that Noodles is no longer getting attacked. Let's kill this and that's eh, still attacking it. Oh, I'm dumb. I get server max money, it's get server money available. Yeah, I'll fix it. I thought for sure that would fix it. Oh, there's somehow money available. Oh, uh, I think I know what it is. Somebody's still growing. Or not. Honestly, don't know why this is screwing up. Ah, now it's trying to hack home, which is not going to work. So we need to further filter targets. Targets can be. Get server money available is greater than 5,000 and server, I think it's get purchased. Yeah, get purchased servers. I'm going to do includes S. So this will return, well, this part of it will return true if the server is a purchase server. We don't want purchase servers, so we prefix it with the exclamation. If that fixes it. I think home is considered a purchase server. Home is not considered a purchase server. So then we also have to and Server is not equal to home. That should get it there. All right, great. Let's move on to food and stuff now. Look at that. We've already gone from three hundred, uh, from thirty-one thousand to over a million. So done. Upgrade RAM. I think there's still 3 million left, so we'll probably just let this run again before we reset it. And see, it's already moved away from food and stuff. It's going on to Nectar Net. As soon as food and stuff finishes, probably won't attempt that one anymore. It's 
Got a little bit of money left. Can't connect to Nectarnet. All right, see, Nectar's got two and a half million on it. And the time it's going to take to hack is 40 seconds. So that'll happen pretty quick. Yeah, so an hour in, we've made $31,000, and now 15 minutes in, we're already up to $2 million. That's where max cash really comes in handy, is uh, like when you're getting ready to augment, and you're just like, let me cash out everything from everybody so that I can spend that money. I'm going to be resetting anyway. No use leaving 100% cash on lots of servers. We're going to let this run for a minute. And then uh, we'll pick it back up when we've reset for episode three. So we're going to get three million, buy two upgrades for RAM, reset, and then pick up episode three, where we're going to look at uh, Akinet nodes. That'll be fun.